Hey, literacy lovers, it's Angela back again for our second Tuesday Tales. Um, and I am excited to share with you a few of my favorites. Whoops. A few of my favorite silly stories. Um, I wanted to, I'm going to end with I Say Ooh um, because it's such a big favorite and we're really excited because it just won a children's choice award. Um, hey Michelle. And, but I wanted to start with a couple of my favorites. Now, these are silly story time books. I have quite a few others for older kids that I can recommend to you when this is over. Um, so if you are interested in seeing those, pop in the comments and let me know. For those of you that are coming back and watching this later, throw hashtag replay down in the comments so I know to come back and answer your questions. But I wanna dive in and share some of these with you. Now, one of our brand new, brand, brand new, cute favorites is This Is Owl. And it looks just like, I mean, this is a cute little book. You would never know that this is fun and silly, but um, I love this for silly story time because it's so interactive, kind of like this is, um, I say ooh, you say ah. So I'm gonna share a little bit with you. What is also great about this one is that we have a cute little stuffed owl that my boys are like clinging to right now because of course I said I need it. So I will show you, share a picture of that with you in a bit. But you start off, welcome to the woods. We're here to meet someone very special. Turn the page and I'll introduce you. This is Owl. Owl, wake up. Owl, you're embarrassing me. This is not how we agreed to start the book. Try tickling Owl's tummy to wake him up. So you tell your kids to tickle Owl's tummy. And then, no, we need both eyes open. Owl, your audience is waiting. And you can tell we read this a lot because it's got crumbs on it, right? That's very indicative of a good book, isn't it? Uh, I know, owls are nocturnal. That means owl is active only during the nighttime. Clap three times to switch off the sun. Right? Oops. Quickly draw a big round moon with your finger so we can see what's going on. So your kids draw the big round moon and then that's better. Now let's try again. This is owl. Owl lives in a tree. But what's the matter, owl? Okay, okay, sorry about this. Can you tilt the page to help owl reach beetle? And you lean him like this. Whoa, you might have tipped owl a little too far. Flap the pages together and let owl fly. So you spend the whole book having fun with your kids like that. Um, they get to interact with the book. They have to be really close to you. So that's one of the reasons that I love silly story time, especially to get the crankies out. Um, my Aunt Jenny, who is fabulous and at work right now, so she's not listening, but I watched her read the Pop Pop Fish to her cranky kiddos one time and I was like, this is brilliant. You read them a silly story and by the end, they can't help but laugh along with you. Um, so, mom tip for also great teacher tip too. Um, so that's this is Owl. This is another one that is really fun. Now I will warn you, there's a lot of controversy about this book because it is filled with tongue twisters. <laughs> Um, Pandemonia is one of my kids favorite books. They love it because it has a ton of animals. The words sound very silly. And I mean, it talks about the zoo, which is one of their favorite places in the world. However, they have no idea that while mommy is saying all these silly words, they're learning tons of new vocabulary. Um, like I had no idea what a tapir was tapir until we read this book because my kids asked me what it was and I had to look it up. So this one starts out. So you're here at the zoo on this glorious day. You're sure to have fun. It's a great place to play. Come in, look around, relax and explore. Inside you will find there are creatures galore. You'll have a magnificent time at the zoo. Just don't wake the panda, whatever you do. So you can see the panda is sleeping peacefully in his little, isn't that cute? In his little like yoga pose almost. If you wake up the panda, he gets very grumpy, which hypes up the hippos and makes them all jumpy. 
When the hippos get jumpy, they usually hop, and once they begin, they are tricky to stop. Those hippos create such a hullabaloo. So don't wake the panda, whatever you do. So it goes on and on like this, that, and basically explains, if you wake up this animal, then it'll trigger that animal, that'll start that animal waking up, and then this animal, and then you go all the way to the end, and they say, oops. So don't wake the panda, please. Don't wake the panda. No, don't wake the panda, whatever you do. My kids love the like suspense before I turn the page and then they always, always, both of them at the same time, oops, and then they giggle like it's the funniest thing they've ever heard. This one, like I said, big favorite at our house, lots of tongue twisters, so be prepared. Okay, I'm going to share one more favorite with you before we get to I say ooh, you say ah. Oh. This is the one I dropped at the beginning. This is one of our new ones. This is great for toddlers. Um, and my six, my Noah is six and a half. He likes this one because he can read the book to his little brother like he's playing Simon Says with him and make him <laughs> do things. So jump around. It has these curved edges at the top, so it makes it really easy for babies and toddlers to turn pages. And each one has big, so jump goes the frog, can you jump too? Stamp goes elephant, can you stamp too? Flap goes duck, can you flap too? And so the whole book, just like that, is basically asking what you can do. And then it ends, hug goes everyone, can you hug too? Um, this is great, like I said, great for toddlers. Um, I will be honest, I made Noah read this to his little brother one time because he needed reading practice, but also because they were like this. They were like butting heads like crazy. And I was like, read this to your brother, and then you guys have to do all this stuff. And he didn't know, at the end it says, hug goes everyone, can you hug too? And I was like, can you? Try it. Um, so, tricky, another tricky mom, tricky mom trick. That this one is really great for toddlers, preschoolers, kindergartners learning how to read because all of the text, like I said, is really predictable. All of this is gonna say, can you blank too? So as soon as they get this word down, they're set to go. Um, now, here is, here's the moment we've been waiting for. I say ooh, you say ah, and I'm not, I can't read the whole thing. You guys know I can't read the whole thing because of copyright, but I will read this part a little bit for you. There's something very simple, and you guys, I should back up because these books are so big. Okay. There's something very simple that I need you to remember. When I say ooh, you say ah as loudly as you can. Are you ready? Ooh, I can't hear you. Ooh, one more time, even louder. Ooh, that's it. Now, if you see the color red, pat your head. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stop hitting your head. That sounds like it hurts. Okay, there's one more thing. When you see an ant, you say underpants. Underpants! I beg your pardon. That's a bit rude. So you can see how very silly this book is. Um, and my kids think it's hilarious, especially if somebody like their papa reads it to them. So you see red, so you have to pat your head, and you see an ant, so you have to say underpants. So you say, underpants, 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 underpants. Now you're just being silly. Well, I need you to be nice because I'd like you to meet my friend. This is my donkey. He says hello. Yeehaw. His name is Ooh. Ah because if you see ooh, you have to say ah. What are you doing? You frightened ooh, ah. Oh no, now he's running away. Oops. Now he's hiding from you. What's that on his nose? Underpants, because it's an ant. So you can see if the kid, first of all, they have to pay attention if they're going to be silly with you. But it's very silly, very funny. And 
gets your kids really, really engaged. Um, those are four of my favorites. Some of you, most of you guys know about Nibbles. Nibbles is another great one for silly story time. Um, if your kids are a little bit older, doing Billy and the Mini Monsters is great for silly story time. Uncle Sean and Bill is another great series that we just released last year. Um, that one is a great chapter book for silly, time, silly story time. Um, if you guys would like any more, holler and let me know. But I had to share those with you. You guys, this is an award winner for a reason. If you don't have it, grab it. It is great. Um, now I have to share with you just a little bit. Um, tomorrow, I am announcing something really big that we're starting even bigger than the All-Star Crew and the Elite Crew. Something super fun to keep your kids engaged this summer. And I promise you're not going to want to miss it. I will post it right here in the VIP group. Um, also, next week, a week from tomorrow, I am leaving for our Us Born Books and More National Convention. And I'm so excited because on top of all the cool book lady stuff that I'm going to learn, I get tons of free books, okay? Which is one of the awesome perks of being a book lady and going to convention is we get tons of brand new titles for free. And some of those, you guys will get a chance to win by being in the All-Star or the Elite crew. Um, but because you're VIPs, you will get the first sneak peeks at those, and you won't want to miss it, I promise. So I will do our Tuesday tales like normal next week, right before I leave for convention, but just know I will be popping in all during next week to share new titles with you, exciting announcements with you. It is amazing. If you are interested in getting some cool free books, Good, good, that makes me so happy. Um, I was hoping that somebody would. I wish I could read the whole story, but copyright. Nah. Um, but next, I can hear my children stomping. You guys, summer, summer. Um, anyway, if you are interested in cool free books, first of all, you're going to want to pay attention to the announcement tomorrow because it's gonna have to do with getting free books. Also, um, our team is hosting a really cool webinar for people who love literacy. Um, and if you are interested, please let me know. Um, somebody that attends the webinar is gonna get $25 in free books, courtesy of our directors. Um, so holler at me and let me know if you are interested in checking it out. It's tomorrow evening. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I cannot wait to share with you all of the cool stuff from convention next week. But like I said, we will have regular Tuesday tales this time next week. See you then. Bye, guys.